pull-up jumper. Game on in January, but Shafino really struggled. One of 14 from the field. It's a good start right there. Well, that was his worst shooting performance of the season. Looking for redemption tonight. Dante Scott across the way to his senior pal, Hakeem Hart, and Hart knocks it down. A great pass right there out of the post. And Hakeem Hart, who has not shot the ball great, locked and loaded on the weak side. Speaking of locking and loading, Miller Kopp, Indiana's made their first four shots. Well, Kopp's got an assist and now in transition, knocking down a three. Just one of his last six from three. The last two games of the season, but ready to shoot right there. A red hot start for the Cream and Crimson. Take it away. Jackson Davis to Kopp. It's good. Goaltending, but it didn't matter. 11 to 5, Indiana. Trace Jackson Davis running the show and Miller Cop running the floor. How many teams do you see your five man making a play like this, hanging in the air, and Cop finishing it off at the rim? And the celebration from Hoosier Nation. Jackson Davis leads this team in points, rebounds, and assists. And he got the assist right there to put him up six. Hakeem Hart trying to back his way down, stripped. He'll stay here with 12 to shoot. Mike Woodson got the Hoosiers in the tournament last year, but they had to go to Dayton in the first four. They certainly won't be going to Dayton this year. They will not. And think about some of the things they've overcome this year from an injury perspective, whether it's Jalen Hood, Shafino, or even Trace Jackson Davis with the back. Lose Xavier Johnson and just found their way. Beat Purdue twice. They have had a great year. We want it to continue to be great in the postseason. But here, they're going to get it back via an offensive foul. Not the start that Kevin Willard had hoped for. 21 wins. Most by first year head coach in Maryland history. And he's 2-0 against Indiana. The win earlier this year and his first time beating them as Maryland's head coach. He also beat him in 2017 when he was the head man at Seton Hall. First meeting, I thought Maryland really controlled the tempo. Low scoring game, Indiana just 55 points, but the Hoosiers want to get out and run. Maryland wants to make this a half court affair. Put Shafino from that same spot. Rebound, Thompson had it, and they're going to get him for a foul. Mike Woodson wants to see the replay up above. Call a foul saying he was holding a million. Tough start for Race Thompson. So I don't think there was much there. The Indiana, they've been spreading everything around. Four guys have a field goal, four guys have an assist on this hot start. Don Carey, great three point shooter, misses his first attempt. But Reese with a board. How about Carey again? Short, 0 for 2. That second one's more his game, but here's Indiana off the bounce, running in transition. You gotta stop Cobb. They dodged the bullet. Maryland Terrapins, they've been to the semifinals twice in this event, never to the finals. Inside Julian Reese, contact. And a foul on Trace Jackson Davis. Just get it going. The final game. Set for a good one. Indiana, great start. With insurance from auto owners, you can relax knowing we got you covered. That's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you. I should do this for a living. T-Mobile has the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus for free and price lock guarantee. Do you? Well, well. Well, 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 yes. Switch to T-Mobile and get a free Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus with no trade-in required. I'll confess, our crew strategically stashes snacks on game day. Jenny, you don't need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan simply helps you create an affordable price. Nacho? Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 
Nerds! One, two, three hundred points down today. Four, five, six dollars per gallon. Mortgage rates too high to count, not for me. <laughs> hey there, Count. Greetings. You know, we love numbers too, but when it comes to financial decisions, they can feel a little scary. Numbers? Scary? That's why at NerdWallet, we're here to help with trusted expertise. Sounds like people can count on you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. We'll work on it. The Big Ten Basketball Tournament is presented by TIAA, the official retirement planning partner of the Big Ten. Super slow-mo on the L here in Chicago. I promise it goes faster than that. Just stand underneath it. The earth shakes. 11-5, Indiana leading it. Robbie, you kind of hit on it, but Xavier Johnson, foot injury December 17th versus Kansas. They were hoping to get him back, but announced last weekend he is officially done for the year. He'll seek a medical hardship waiver. Well, it's just unfortunate because he's such a big part of this group and this team, and you know Xavier Johnson wants to get back on the floor and help this team make a postseason run. But it would have been really hard as we got late into the regular season for him to acclimate himself and you see the way Jalen Hood Shafino is running the show at the point. And you want to beat your best when you're playing. So I think uh, assuming that they feel confident about that waiver, it's the right call. And hopefully we see Xavier Johnson back next year healthy. They played in 11 games, needed to be 10 or under to get that waiver. But again, that's why they apply for it. There are exceptions to that rule in Indiana thinking that they could get one for him. Reese hits the free throw, 11 to 7. Cop up top. Trace Jackson Davis. That's one way to beat the press. Just throw it up the floor and throw it up to Trace Jackson Davis. Indiana breaking that thing to score. Great pass from Cobb. On the other end, a million muscling his way inside, but Thompson rejects it. Indiana is playing with great energy right now. Good, really compete. Good job by Jameer Young to break up the pass inside. Here is Jameer Young. Flipping it across to Ian Martinez, who's such a great athlete. Now the sophomore Reese. Oh goodness. Got to that left hand. That's two grown man post moves that we've seen from Julian Reese. The first on Trace Jackson Davis, that time on Reese Thompson. You let him get to his left jump hook, it's going to be game over. Julian Reese is playing so well down the stretch. And one of his seven double doubles this season came in the win against Indiana. Trouble is going to be what to watch for. He's going to have to guard Trace Jackson Davis here, but he cannot foul. He's got to stay on the floor. Picked up a couple early ones yesterday. Avoided one there. Flashing shoe match up here between Hakeem Hart and Cobb. And Hart hits another three. Didn't have a great game last we night, but he's feeling it right Hart. now. Keep Hart three straight games and double single digits. And he shot 28 from the field, 18 from three. Has not shot the ball well, but so far so good here tonight. Two of two from beyond the arc. Senior from Philly. He's got six. Merrick within one. Hood Shafino runner. Yes. It's just a big time move. And he comes off that ball screen. Julian Reese never impacting his path. Got downhill, got to his right hand. Nice play right there by Jalen Hood Chavino. Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Indiana's 11th Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Most in the conference. Young lost it going up, but there's Reese again. And Julian Reese will head back to the line. Well, our first game took a while to get going. I would say this one was going from the start. Cop throwing it up. Trace Jackson Davis throwing it down. Julian Reese, look at the way Race Thompson just giving ground and 
I don't know what else he can do because Julian Reese looks like a freight train coming through there with that left jump hook. Over 11 points, team best 7.3 rebounds a game. But short at the line. There's times where that ball looks like it, it gets almost caught in his palm. Like it's almost rolling back as he shoots it. 53% free throw shooter. That is really the biggest area he probably needs to improve on. And, and not fouling. Absolutely. Staying out of foul trouble, making free throws, spreading his range to 15 feet. But he's going to be a heck of a player in this league. Already is. And just a sophomore. Maryland really answered this initial Indiana search. For the moment, they quiet the crowd, but probably won't last. Whoa, what a move by Hood Shavino. Now Jackson Davis. Offensive rebound, Malik Renu, first bucket of the tournament. Indiana going to the Twin Towers lineup, and Renu paying that off, getting on the offensive glass. The toughest bucket there, and Renu getting the job done. Renu, the five-star freshman who played at Montverde Academy in Florida with Jalen hood Shafino. What a tandem. Scott looking to go off the bounce. Jahari Long lost it on the way up. Got it back. Around to Martinez. Now Scott with a shot fake, and he'll try to drive. This is right jump hook time. Oh. He gets there, and it's over with. He is so good at finding his way to his left shoulder. Nice play, though, by Jahari Long. Missed the layup, stayed with the play, and Dante Scott finding his way to his front butter. You referenced him digging that left knee. He had treatment on it last night, treatment on it again today. He's going to gut this one out. Nice shot by Maryland there, ready to rotate there. They're going to look to post-trap Trace Jackson Davis, but you've got to rotate out to some of these Indiana shooters. Put Shafino fading away. What a dunk. Not that he can't make that shot, but if you're the Maryland Terrapins and he's taking that, you're feeling good about your defense. After getting down early, 11 to 5, Maryland with a chance here to tie or take the lead. A lot of standing around for Maryland on this position. Clock winding down, gonna have to make a play. Jahari Long's gonna be the guy stripped out with under two on the shot clock, 1.6 to be precise. We'll have that when we return. Quarterfinal Friday, Big Ten tournament, packed house. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. One and two, two and four. Half of black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So let's retire inequality. Let's step forward together and let's rise together because dignity, security, retirement is for all. We pick up the phone because it's ringing. I should get this. <laughs> Hello, this is Sam. How can I help you? That's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you.
need you. Hey, we gotta make sure we read those pick and rolls, okay? Even though we're matching up, but, hey, we match up. We matched up great. But now when I read, everyone's gotta zone out on, on Shafino's pick and rolls, man. Well, you saw what happened when Purdue went drop coverage with Jalen Hood Shafino, and certainly Maryland doesn't want a repeat of that. They want to be aggressive in ball screen action, and they're going to ask a lot of Julian Reese to, to do a lot of that work and make him feel pressure off the ball screen. 1.6 on the shot clock here. Carey hoisted it, but could not get it to drop. That Maryland defense has been so good this season. But Indiana off to a pretty good start, 8 of 13. Well, now 8 of 14. Knocked out, stays with Indiana. With a million in the game, now, now that onus falls on him to make Jalen Hood Shafino feel uncomfortable in the ball screen. I think with the way a million can move his feet, though, they're going to have the option if they need to to switch some of those ball screens. He has been. Quite the player off the bench for Maryland. His numbers don't say it, but Julian Reese has been out. Nothing has fallen off of Maryland's defense with a million at the five. He's defending here. Kevin Willard called him their unheralded MVP of the season. Renew had it stripped. Martinez stripped it, and then Martinez misses on the other end. Look at Scott. Bustling around in there. He double dribbled, or no, three seconds. Been there for 55 seconds. Well, oh, that's an exaggeration, but three, yes. Been there forever. <laughs> it was great help defense by Ian Martinez, being early to his spot, and as the drive came to him, he got those quick hands. Didn't finish it in transition, but a nice defensive play. It's a breather. Indiana started five of five, three for nine, six. Malik Renew back at his way down. Trey Galloway got it jarred free, got it back. And a rebound. Ooh, oh. Scott colliding wow. with Galloway. Jeez. But there would be something there. Scott kicking it out to Don Carey. And Carey buries the triple. Don Carey, five straight games and double figures. 13 in his last 27 from three. Shooting with a lot of confidence. The Georgetown transfer, 41% in his two years there. Finally showing that stroke. It's been a little inconsistent this season. End of the year, he's been great. And he gives Maryland their first lead of the night. Renew partially blocked by a million. Jameer Young up ahead. Two on three, he doesn't care. Draws a foul. He slow played that one. Looked like he was just going to bring it out because they didn't have numbers, and then he turned on the afterburners. At the end of the first game, had a hard time containing Young off the bounce. I will say, I'm not sure. I thought that should have been an offensive foul. Dante Scott just flung himself into the Indiana defender. Yeah, it was a pretty big collision between he and Galloway. Young, an 83% foul shooter. Well, for the biggest Big Ten experience, remember there's no plus like home. Big Ten Plus app powered by Big Ten Network. Download it and subscribe right now. Trace Jackson Davis coming back in for Mike Woodson. Here's the collision from a moment ago. Boy, Trey Galloway just getting wiped out. The other thing, I thought Scott may have shuffled his feet when he ran into it, but at any rate, Maryland is on a 12-4 run over the last five minutes, and they're up two. Put Shafino to his old high school teammate Renew, but look who stripped it, Young. Oh, but Young threw it to the Indiana bench. Turnovers start to rack up for the Hoosiers. Just three, but it feels like they've been almost in successive order here. Indiana, six straight empty trips. Maryland's defense has gotten them back in this game and now given them a lead. 
And the defense is what they hung their hat on. And boy, did they lock up Minnesota last night, holding them to 54 points in that 70-54 win. They got options, too. They're man-to-man -man very good. They go to that 2-3 zone, bring some full-court pressure. Indiana's offense, after the good start, looks a little bit out of sorts right now. This is the guy you need to go to to find your wits, and he will head to the line, Trace Jackson Davis. Looked like Julian Reese put that left hand, almost wrapped it around Trace Jackson Davis as he was making his move. First foul on Reese. It's one to track. Yep. Because he has had his issues. It's been much discussed here, but Julian Reese has had a hard time staying on the floor. Uh, he's over 100 fouls now this year. That's fourth most among all power conference players. Jackson Davis misses both. Indiana now the scoring drought is over four minutes. Hart, what a pass. A million with a flush. They're trying to keep Hakeem hard to his side, but he just turns the ball screen down and whips that pass across the body. A million not going up to lay it up, but going up to dunk it against a team that loves to put it on the glass. On the other end, Hart getting the steal. What a first half for Hakeem Hart. Guy who's honorable mention, all Big Ten, and he's got it again here. I thought the first meeting, even though Jackson Davis got his numbers, that they made him feel uncomfortable in the post. And you can see that once again, Maryland's doing the job. And Maryland is feeling very comfortable. The young three puts him up seven. In 11-0 run, Mike Woodson has seen enough. Well, Maryland on an 11-0 run. Here's that pass to a million. He's going upstairs and tearing the rim off. Akeem Hart loving it. And then the three-pointer from Jameer Young, just 3 of 13 for the field last night. It's been a different story. Maryland on quite the roll. And the Terrapin fans here in Chicago loving the offense. You're never responsible for unauthorized purchases on your Discover card. I'll confess, our crew strategically stashes snacks on game day. Jenny, you'll need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan simply helps you create an affordable price. Nacho? Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Remember college? Five-hour energy got you through then. And now? We'll get you through again. Rediscover five hour energy. Buying a home? Rocket Mortgage will cover 1% of your rate for the first year at no cost to you with Inflation Buster. Plus, if rates drop within three years of purchase, you can refinance with exclusive savings with Rate Drop Advantage. Don't miss these big savings. Visit inflationbuster.com. All right, everybody, it's two of any of these for just $6. Can you get a Dave single with a 10 piece nug? Yep. Yeah. How about two Dave singles for six dollars? And that's class. S sit down, Toby. Sorry. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's two for six. T-Mobile has the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus for free and price lock guarantee. Do you? Well. T-Mobile will never raise my rates for talk, text, and data. Will you? Well. 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 Yes. T-Mobile has price lock guarantee and a free Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus. Switch to T-Mobile and get a free Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus with no trade-in required.
11-0 run for the Maryland Terrapins, and their three-point shooting has been very good here in the first half. Four of seven from beyond the arc. It all started off the post up. Dante Scott setting up Akeem Hart, and Hart, who has not been shooting the ball well, looking extremely comfortable here at the United Center. Jameer Young, second team all Big Ten. He's been terrific all year long. 38% from three in Big Ten play. Not just a driver, but showing off the jumper as well. You think back to that January 31st meeting, both teams struggled from long range. Indiana Start for the Terps from deep. On this 11-0 run, four different Terps have scored. I think this ball needs to go into Trace Jackson Davis. Julian Reese has one foul, and Jackson Davis has been a little bit uninvolved the last couple of minutes. At the four points, well, he had position. Here we go. There's the double. But he still finds his way to put it up and in. Just split right through it. For Julian Reese, you can't reach there. Can't pick up a foul. You don't want to give ground. And he split that play. Really well done by Trace Jackson Davis. That ends a drought of over five minutes. Now Reese, his turnabout fair play. Well, he gives it up. Young on the baseline. Reese, no. Trace Jackson Davis hung in there and really contested that shot. Now Hood Shufino going right back down to that well. Here we go again. The sequel. And there's the second foul on Julian Reese. You can just see it coming. And he's in a pretty good spot. Jackson Davis finding an angle, but if you're Julian Reese, it's just got to be straight up. You are too important to this team. His hands are a little bit tied because he is guarding an All-American. Kevin Willard said it yesterday. He trusts him, but Patrick Amelian at the scores table. I have to think Julian Reese may be done for the first half here. Now Jackson Davis. 0 of 3 at the line so far. Hey, July 15th, BT and Big 10K returning to Soldier Field. Scan the QR code right there on your screen, or you can register at btnbigtenk.com. I heard Kugler and Stephen earlier saying that you'd signed up. I heard them saying that you not only signed up, but you were going to be there to sign autographs and shake hands with everybody. We're really looking forward you're, you're to that. You're the one that likes to run. It's not about the running. It's about the camaraderie, and people want to see you. You know, you were the MVP in this event in 09, right? That, that carries a lot of weight in 2023. <laughs> in the corner, Carey, another one for Don Carey, another one for Maryland. Indiana looks like they just have no idea who they're guarding right there. Don Carey cuts across the floor. No one comes with him, and he is wide open in the left corner. Five of eight from deep for Maryland. Jackson Davis passes out of the double. Hood Shafino back to Jackson Davis, but the pass was a little offline. Maryland, after being down early 11 to 5, chance to add on to a seven point lead now. Scott, foul. Back to the three a moment ago. Just a little bit of lack of communication. Watch Trace Jackson Davis right here. He's just going to point, and it looks like he's thinking that there's going to be a switch out. No one does, and then Jackson Davis late on the closeout. Don Carey staying hot. Don Carey, you mentioned his time at Georgetown. Won the Big East Tournament in 2021 after a rough year at Georgetown. Last year, the team just went 6-25. and 25. And now he's a part of a program that is 21 and 11 and going back to the NCAA tournament. Race Thompson, by the way, the foul was on him. He's got two and he's on the bench for Indiana. It's going to be a real test for Gary.